All right. We are now entering Operation Crank Out Some Content. And today's content is the four basic parts of the steam cycle. So the four basic parts of the steam cycle are feed water, steam generation, expansion, and condensation. Condensation. All right, so what does that actually mean? Feed water means you take water out of a well, a hot well, and you pump it into a boiler. The boiler is where steam generation happens. So the feed water goes in and establishes level. So in the feed water portion, we are increasing the pressure. Then we go to steam generation. So now you have a boiler. It's the walls are made of tubes. The tubes are full of water and you got fire in the middle. That fire heats the tubes, the tubes heats the water. and the steam and water flows up the tubes into the drum. So in, in the steam generator, we have increased the temperature and enthalpy. Didn't mean to introduce enthalpy. So enthalpy is the total energy contained in a substance, including temperature, pressure, and latent heat of phase changes. So water, as you add heat, temperature goes up, temperature goes up, and then at a certain point, the temperature stops going up even though you're adding more heat, temperature stays flat, and what's happening here is you are using the energy of the heat to turn the water into steam. And then if you keep adding heat, once it's all steam, the temperature starts going up again. So, steam generation. And the next thing you do is expansion. This is where we take the thermal energy in the steam and convert it into kinetic energy by running it through a turbine. So you come out of the drum, you have a control valve which determines how much steam goes into the turbine then you enter the turbine itself. Now turbine is basically, God bless, turbine is basically a bunch of fan blades. And each set of fan blades gets bigger than the last and they are all on a common shaft. So we are taking steam and it has all this energy of the heat and the pressure and it's built up in there and as 
it goes through the control valves and now it's got some room to expand. That's the expansion. And as it expands, it pushes and it pushes on those turbine blades and it turns it and it makes it go roundy roundy. And that's the objective is to take the thermal energy of the steam and convert it into kinetic energy of the shaft. So as the steam goes across all these turbine blades and it expands, it eventually has to go somewhere or else it would just all end up equalized pressure, right? So it gets dumped back to the condenser. Now the condenser will have a whole bunch of tubes, thousands and thousands of tubes that have a cooling water in them, a cooling medium. And this is typically circulating water from a cooling tower. So all the water goes in here at 80 degrees Fahrenheit and then it makes a lap and it comes out on the other side and now it is at 115 Fahrenheit. And all this steam that blew in here, all of it runs across these coils. And these coils that are, have the water inside that's heating up and the steam outside is cooling down. And what happens when you cool down steam is it stops being steam. It condenses. It forms water droplets. And those water droplets fall down into the hot well where the cycle can start over. Four basic parts of the steam cycle. Feed water, where we increase pressure. Steam generator, where we increase temperature, add energy. Expansion, where we decrease pressure. We decrease pressure and we decrease enthalpy. and condensation where we decrease enthalpy and we decrease the pressure further as it collapses and creates a vacuum. 